In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this pie or a donut chart in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I'm comparing two different pie charts here where a 45% versus 60% and then you can add some uh, detailed text along with the icon here and then I've given some gradient background and which looks kind of a glass effect here. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any dark color background. In this uh, case I have taken some grayish dark blue color then go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose this block r just click it here it becomes it gives you a shape something like this and then depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease the size of this object so go to the shape format here i'm going to make it this as 3.7 the height and 3.7 is the width and then you can just rotate it you can see here something like that you rotate it like this and now depending on the requirement how big how circular you want this R you can just drag this one you can see the small orange point just drag this one and how much width you want from here also you can adjust it you can see here you can increase the size and increase or decrease the width also so I'm just going to keep like this shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give any color or if you want you can give some gradient fill also depending on the requirement so i'm just going to keep like this and then we can just change the color later on as well then i'm going to add one more by pressing ctrl d right and then this color i'm going to give some a kind of a light gray color and here this one i'm going to make the height and width as 4.2 and then i'm just going to rotate it something like this you can see here and before that one exactly where i'm going to place i'm not so sure for that you need to go to the view enable the guides then may select this one go to the shape format align center sorry align center and align middle the same thing goes for this also align center align middle now you can see here we have got these shapes now this particular shape i need to be more uh, wider okay so I'm just going to increase the width you can see here something like this okay so that it looks like this is you know uh, the yellow is beneath this a uh, gray color one all right so again depending on the requirement how much you need you can just increase or decrease with the help of this shape so let it be like this all right so here in the center it's not looking good the because the size of the this arch are two different things for that go to insert shapes I'm going to select one oval shape, draw one oval shape by holding the shift key. You can see here. And again, shape outline, make it no outline. Shape fill, you can fill any dark color or black color. Again, align center, align middle. And to give this kind of a 3D look, I'm going to duplicate this by pressing Ctrl D. Then right mouse click, go to the format shape and increase the transparency level maybe to 60 percent you can see here and then again align center align middle then hold the control shift key just increase the size of this one you can see here so it looks like kind of a 3d object now all right so as i said again if you want to increase this one depending on the percentage you can increase it or if you want to keep it it's up to you so this is completely uh, adjustable all right so once this is done you can just go to insert text box and for example i'm going to say this looks like a kind of say 25 percent all right i'm just going to type 25 percent i'm going to select the font color as white center align i'm going to use arial black all right and then increase the size and make sure again this also align center align middle so now i'm going to select all these shapes all right and then i'm going to move this one sorry control z because i have not selected all the shapes all right 
and then I can just move it towards the left and then I'm going to add one more to the right so hold the control shift key together and drag it towards the right okay so something like this and leave it here again if you want to adjust with the help of the keyboard right arrow key you can adjust this one so now this one i would like to make this to say uh 50 percent in this case if i want to do that one i have to reduce this size you can see here i have to reduce this size yeah and then i have to increase this size all right so you can see here i'm just increasing this size and make sure that the width should be something like this all right so and i'm just going to say this is from 25 percent to say this is 60 percent it's not accurate but uh, you can just uh, approximately we can just give this one and maybe this one i'm going to change the color to some other color maybe blue so you can see here i have got 25 percent and i have got 60 percent now one more thing which you can do here is to give a kind of a glass look and this one this 25 percent versus 60 percent so i can just go to insert text box and i'm going to say vs that means versus and center align white font and i'm going to make it arial black and increase the size and put it exactly in the center so we know that we are comparing this one with this one so the next thing is we need to add some text and before adding some text i would like to add a kind of a glass effect for that go to insert shapes from the rectangles i'm going to choose the rectangle rounded corners draw the rectangles rounded corners something like this you can see here and the small orange point drag this outside and shape fill i'm going to fill this with white oh, sorry not outline shape fill i'm going to fill this with white and then i'm going to make this as say 70 percent uh, transparency and send this to back send this to back okay so you can see here this has gone to the back and then you can give a kind of a gradient line for this one so i'm going to select the gradient line and here you can give any gradient line for example i'm going to give two gradient line one is white and other is blue kind of things maybe this aqua color and then depending on the requirement you can just choose the direction how the direction you want so whichever direction you want you can just make it like this and then you can give some glossy effect also for example i'm just going to insert shapes i'm going to select one small oval shape here draw a small oval shape shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it white and go to the effects under the soft edges increase this size so it will give you some kind of a gloss effect here okay again if you want you can just rotate it increase the size all those things all right the once this is done you can add some text below for that go to insert text and here i'm going to say equals hello rem within bracket one and here i don't want this much large text so i'm going to delete this text some text i'll keep it center align white font reduce the size and that's it so this is my for this one just copy and paste it and this text can be replaced and then if you want you can just add some icons to so go to insert icons and i'm going to say a map and this map you can just choose maybe one africa and maybe this is, looks like a europe for me i'm going to select both this one and the color i'm going to choose as white and then i'm just going to put it here this is say africa here and this is maybe europe looks like and so this is the europe here and one more thing which you can do is you can add a background color here which you can see here 
this kind of a background you can add it here for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to insert shapes i'm going to select one shape here all right shape outline i'm going to make it no outline and then picture or texture fill click on insert because already it's been used that's the reason it is coming here you can go to insert online pictures and here i'm going to just type gradient and you can see here this particular gradient whatever we use it's available here you can just choose or any other gradient depending on the requirement you can choose it okay so once this is done i can drag and draw cover the full slide area and then send this to back so it looks something like this you can see here again if you want to do uh, some shadow effect you can select this one go to the effects shadows and you can just give any shadow effect you can see here the same thing you can give some shadow effect all right if you want you can just add some title and some basic animation uh, you can add it to your slide